So I've been obsessed with non-nail artist over at Instagram, and she just posted a manicure like this, and I thought it was so cute, so I'm going to try it. I started out with clean nails. I just took my last manicure off, and I put my base coat in a cup of warm water so that it turns completely clear. That's an important step. You want to make sure you do that. So it's as clear as water now. And I'm going to go in and do one coat of base coat on my nails. This is how I start out all of my Dazzle Dry manicures. And if you're going to try Dazzle Dry, you don't want to forget the base coat. I think the base coat is one of the strongest products in the entire system because it is such a good foundation for all of the other polishes. So I do one coat of base coat and I let that dry for about, mm, about two, two to three minutes. And then I come in with two coats of Transform. And Transform is the Dazzle Dry Ridge Filler. It is not, you know, like it isn't required for your Dazzle Dry manicure, but a lot of people who love Dazzle Dry do include this step because it really smooths out your nail. Dazzle Dry, <clears throat> excuse me, Dazzle Dry just as a uh, nail polish does dry down really thin because it is such a quick drying polish. And so any imperfections in your nails will show when you have such a thin polish. So by using Transform, and I use two coats of Transform with a five minute wait time in between, you get the perfect application of very smooth color. And it's also a really nice kind of nude shade. It's kind of a very, very sheer pink. So I did two coats of that and then let it dry another five minutes. So now I'm going to go in with raspberry cream. This is the first color of my rainbow that I picked out. And I'm using a very small, thin nail brush just to draw these lines on. Now this is my first time kind of doing nail art quite like this. So I wasn't sure if I would be able to get a really nice smooth line. And they're a little bit wobbly. I mean, let's be real. They're not perfect, but I did pretty good. The next color I'm using is Sahara, and I'm going to put that right up next to the raspberry cream. And just like non-nail artists did over at Instagram, um, I varied where the rainbow kind of came in on my nail and kind of spanned across. In fact, I pretty much copied exactly where she had her rainbows because I was kind of flying blind and all this. So I'm using Coastal Wave now for kind of like a greenish shade. And like I said, because I've never really done nail art quite like this, I was relying heavily on the inspiration photo that I saw on Instagram. For my blue shade, I'm using Lotion Please, such a nice blue. And um, I'm applying that right below that coastal wave, just to continuing on this rainbow. I decided to leave them in rainbow order. Now, in the original manicure, she used some hollow taco polishes that were very sparkly and holographic. Um, I don't really have any shades like that uh, from Dazzle Dry. The closest I've got is the color Diamond. So after I applied my purple color, which I chose as Periwinkle Passion, I came in with a coat of the color Diamond from Dazzle Dry. And this is sort of like a holographic sparkle polish. It's basically a top coat. The sparkles aren't too concentrated, but I thought maybe that would kind of disguise some of the wobbliness on the lines that I painted. And it worked pretty well. And I do like the sparkles. I mean, if you're going to have rainbows on your nails, you might as well just lean into it. I mean, I'm one step away from putting a unicorn on here. No shade to unicorns. I love them. So now I'm coming in with a white and lightning and, um, I have no idea how she did this on her nails, but I decided to kind of draw the little bumps for the clouds first, and then I came in and filled in those areas. Some of the areas, especially going over the, ra the rainbow part, uh, the white needed a second coat. So I did come in with a second coat of polish on the white in just a few areas where I could tell that there was like something underneath and that really seemed to kind of clean it up. So um, don't be afraid to do like multiple layers for stuff like this. I used my uh, tried and true uh, standby of a brush. This is my old eyebrow brush. I think I've been using it for a cleanup nail art brush, gosh, for going on 10 years. 
it's, it's been through a lot. I did come in, like I said, and put a little more of my white lightning polish on top of some areas just to get it really, really white. And then I did two coats of top coat. I always do two coats of top coat with dazzle dry, because if I only do one layer of top coat, it does stay shiny maybe for a couple days, but then it starts to lose a little bit of its shine. So I got this tip off the Facebook group for, I, uh, I love Dazzle Dry. Uh, they said, hey, do two top coats and it stays shiny longer. And sure enough, it does. I applied a ton of cuticle oil because my nails are super dry. And then here's my finished manicure. I think it turned out so cute. And I, I mean, gosh, I should have worn this for St. Patrick's Day. Put a, gold, a pot of gold there. 